Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Coffee and Candles with Miss Angela. This is the 2017 December issue. I cannot believe that it is December. I didn't even know that like this was coming up like the first week of December. I, I just, I can't believe it. Snooki doesn't want to be on camera. Oh my gosh, Snooki Louise. So I put a little Christmas bow in Snooki Louise's hair and she is not having it. But anyway, you guys, I wanted to show you what coffee and candles I have chosen for the month of December. I have actually six, seven Yankee candles plus some other ones. So for some odd reason, the Yankee candles piled up and when I was picking and choosing the different fragrances to show you guys, that was the name brand that kind of kept on popping up. But I have some from DW Home and then also a Village Candle. So first, let me get into my coffee choice. Now this one was pretty easy for me. So this is a Door County Coffee um, coffee and tea little travel mug. You guys can pick these up online. They come in um, all different colors, but I absolutely love the red one that they gave me. Um, it is very, very easy to clean, very easy to use. But the coffee that I chose this month was the Gingerbread Spiced Latte. And it's really hard to see the name of it there. But you guys, okay, so I have a full bag of this and it's gone, by the way. Um, I have been bringing it to work with me every single day for this past week and every single time I make a pot of coffee with this flavor, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this literally smells like a coffee house. What coffee are you brewing? We want to try some. And it was like the full pot was gone before I knew it. But anyway, this one says the essence of ginger and cinnamon in our medium roast flavored gourmet coffee. It literally tastes so good. What I did is I put a tiny little bit of vanilla creamer in there and that is literally all I needed. I drank this on ice, I drank it warm and it was magnificent. It was absolutely glorious. It is the smoothest, richest, creamiest coffee that I've ever tasted and this is a new flavor. So I will leave the link down below if you guys um, are interested in ordering. So let's get into the candles that I chose for this month now. This first candle that I'm going to show you guys is actually my number one pick for the month of December. I have not burned this. I have been saving this. I have been lifting the jar and smelling this candle. It is by DW Home and this is Winter Mint. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. So I got this at TJ Maxx for $6.99. I would have bought all of the large jars if they had them, but they didn't have them. This was the only one that my TJ Maxx had, and it literally smells like winter green or winter fresh bubble gum. It is very, very heavy on the spearmint. It has been a long time since I have found a candle that has just kind of like straight up spearmint in it. Um... Now, I did go on the website, and the website says that this candle is mint leaf and crushed spearmint with eucalyptus and rosemary. So the rosemary does really balance it out, but that eucal or that um, spearmint, you guys, like that crushed spearmint, it actually reminds me, I have some spearmint tea that I got from Tava Kava or Tava Tea Company, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it or what it was, but it was um, a tea company in Appleton that um, I sometimes go to in the winter months and they have just like straight up peppermint tea and that, or straight up spearmint tea, sorry. And that is exactly what this smells like. It smells so good. So this is my number one pick. So the other candle that I chose from DW Home, this is Frosted Spruce. I love the jar. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like this blue chrome kind of um, ever, ever, ever vescent? No. Shimmery, shiny, splendid. I just love it. Anyway, this one is Two Wick. Oh my God, it smells so good. So what popped up basically online for this um, fragrance was Silver Spruce, 
sweet orange fruit, fern needles with a touch of spicy cinnamon, clove, smoked cade wood, which what is smoked cade wood? Does anybody know? And green juniper. And that's probably why I like this one so much is because you can really smell that green juniper in there. So this is probably my second choice. Like I really, really love this one a lot. And then the next one that I chose also from DW Home was Juniper Wreath. And this one is one of their little baby ones. Um, I got this again at TJ Maxx. This one was $2.99. And I love it because the jar is green. It's very festive. And then you've got that gold, um, you know, lid there. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, my God. So this one online read Juniper Berry, Cedar, Smoke, amber and greens and i think that's why i like this one so much is because it does have amber in it and i am literally a sucker for anything amber um now let's get into my village candle so i only have one village candle here that i chose for december this is a limited edition one in white cedar and that is what this one looks like here. Very festive, very green. This one can be used for Christmas or thereafter or there before. Um, this says on the bottom, white cedar, which is forest cedar and bergamot. Online, this just read earthy forest cedar and bergamot. So basically, it smells absolutely gorgeous. The bergamot in here, though, is really strong. So if you are not a person who likes bergamot, um, you probably will not like this candle, but I love it. Now, all Village Candles are two wick. These two wicks are a little bit off-centered, but it was the only one um, that they had at the store, so I just had to pick it up. Um, with Village Candles, though, I always use an Aluma lid because the wicks, if you guys can see, are really thin. It's definitely not like a Yankee Candle wick or a DW Home wick, um, and they kind of putter out if you don't keep that Aluma lid on. That's just been my personal experience. Um, so yeah, so definitely use an Aluma lid um, when you're using Village Candles. So the next one that I have here is, let's see, by Yankee Candle, and this is Cascading Snowberry. <gasps> Oh, this is good, you guys. This is a really, really good one. So this one I got at my Yankee Candle Outlet. It does have a yellow label, which, I mean, there's really nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. Usually the yellow labels mean that it was, there's a defect somewhere, but I have not seen it at all. This is the Smooth Wax. Um, label is centered. Everything is perfect. Oh, my God. I smell juniper in here, you guys, and snowberries. So this one online says the top notes are frozen ozone, water mint, the mid notes are eucalyptus, cypress, snowberries, and the base is amber, cypress, moss, and musk. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so good. I have spoken with Several people that have actually burned this candle and they absolutely love it. This is another really, really good one. The next one that I have to show you guys is Cranberry Ice by Yankee Candle. This is a UK fragrance. It used to be, um, or it did, I think, first come out in the United States, but now they're re-releasing it for the UK. I did pick this up at the outlet, but that is what the jar looks like there and the little label there. Um, there is a label in the back here with the UK, but... Oh my God, you guys, this is so sweet and juicy. Mm, love it. So this one um, in the scent description basically reads the top notes are orange, tangerine, and red fruits. The mid notes are plum, cranberry, and cherry, which is where that juiciness comes from. And the base is vanilla. So you guys will hear a lot of the top, the mid, and the base. And for some odd reason, the base on a lot of these candles is vanilla. But oh my God, the cherry in here, it just makes it so juicy and I absolutely love this one. The next candle I have here is Spiced Orange. This is also in a medium jar. I actually did a review on my channel, I believe on a large jar of this before. It was either a large or um, a medium jar and I love this one, especially for the holidays. I feel like it's something different, um, something very unique. This one is very tangy, very juicy but also has kind of like a sweet sugary um, scent to it as well. 
So spiced orange reads, the top notes are ginger, citrus, and ozone. What is ozone? I don't know. They always stick ozone in there and I don't know what they're talking about. The mid is a cord and the base is sugared vanilla. This one is a really good one, you guys. Highly suggest picking this one up if you guys can. The next one that I have here is Festive Cocktail. This one is also a UK fragrance that just came out, I believe, for this winter of 2017. Yes, we're in, still in 2017. Okay, festive cocktail. The top notes are citrus, cranberry, black currant. The mid notes are pine and the base is vanilla. So this, oh, smells so, it does. It really does smell like a festive cocktail. Like if you were going to a Christmas party or something like a high class Christmas party, um, I feel like this is something that they would serve to their guests. It is just really, really nice, and I love the label. The next one that I have here is Spicy Pepperberry and Spruce. This was a new one to me. I believe this is a new um, candle for the United States, so check it out at your store. Um, I actually got this one at the outlet, though, like a while back. Um, but this one reads, the top notes are eucalyptus cinnamon stick, the mid notes are pine needle, and the oh pine needles I'm sorry also um incense spruce and the base is clove bud cedar wood and the vanilla once again this one you guys oh my gosh I smell the pine literally right off the bat like those pine needles are super strong and then it just is kind of like a sweet, syrupy, um, red berry type of fragrance. But this one is really good as well. The next candle that I have to show you guys, this one is Sweet Fig and Pomegranate. This is also another new one by Yankee Candle United States. So you guys can pick this one up in your store. This one is the top notes of Blackberry Fig, Raspberry, the mid notes are red plum pomegranate and the base is Tonka vanilla bean. Tonka vanilla bean, you guys, always. So I can definitely smell the fig in here, but the pomegranate is kind of what hits you right away. Um, the pomegranate is the first fragrance that I, that I can smell. And then the fig kind of comes after along with that vanilla. But it smells really, really good. And then, you guys, the last candle that I have, this one I got at TJ Maxx, and everyone was picking this one up when they saw it in the store. This is Christmas morning. I am definitely going to be burning this one and doing a review on this. This was very interesting. I could not find the scent description for this candle online. Um, you would think Christmas morning, I mean, I don't know what you would think Christmas morning would smell like. A little bit mixture of the Christmas tree, maybe some vanilla with the Christmas cookies and just, I don't know, maybe like grandma audrey's perfume or something like that this was very interesting it's in the festive category and when i smelled it i smell this is so weird i smell gingerbread oatmeal this is definitely a foodie candle um the gingerbread it's like a gingerbread house is very prominent but I will say that I have had the gingerbread uh, candle from Yankee Candle before, and the that one is super, super strong and like syrupy. This one is a little bit different. It's almost like gingerbread meets oatmeal cookie. It's really good. I like it. Is it something that I would say, yeah, Christmas morning reminds me, you know, of an oatmeal cookie or, you know, oatmeal with gingerbread? Absolutely not. But... I don't know. I think it's pretty interesting. I don't really care for the color of the wax, but I do like the label of the Christmas gifts and things. I think that's, that's, you know, pretty. Um, this one was poured in 2017. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about this, I got this at the outlet. I did not pick this up at TJ Maxx. I thought I did, but I didn't. I remember a lot of people were picking this up at TJ Maxx and they were paying $12.99 for it. And I got it at the outlet when they were having um, their friends and family sale or SAS sale. And I got this for eight bucks. So it definitely pays to go to the Yankee outlet if you guys can on a sale um, because you guys will be getting some great deals. So those were my picks 
for December 2017 Coffee and Candles with Miss Angela. I hope everybody has a fabulous holiday. I will be continuing to make videos and things throughout um, the new year about candles and coffee and everything. And don't forget, I am actually a little, little hint. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on the Dora County Coffee soon on their one pot um, coffees. So definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified so you guys will be in on the giveaway. But thank you guys so much for watching and happy holidays. Bye everyone.